Recrystallization is the most common means of purifying an organic solid. To recrystallize, you have to find the perfect solvent system where your solid is soluble, hot, and insoluble, cold, because those are the easiest um, methods we have of working with physical properties in the laboratory. You need to find a solvent system that it's fairly soluble in, and oftentimes what you need to use is a solvent pair, that is one that it's soluble in and partially insoluble in. For this recrystallization, I am using a solvent pair of ethanol, which my product is very, fairly soluble in, and water, which it is not soluble in. The first thing you want to do is dissolve your product in a minimal amount of the solvent that it is soluble in. So I have warmed some ethanol on the hot plate, and I'm going to begin by adding solvents and dissolving my product that is to be recrystallized. You always want to have a wooden applicator stick to prevent bumping when you're heating a liquid on a hot plate. And the amount of solvent you want to use is usually about 20 times, 10 to 20 times the mass of the material that you're recrystallizing. So I'm working with 100 milligrams of product here, so I can anticipate 10 to 20 mils of the solvent that I'm going to be using. So again, you want to work slowly, not add too much solvent because then your crystals won't come out of solution, and heat as you're dissolving. If you've added the appropriate amount of solution and there's still insoluble impurities, what you might want to do is a gravity filtration to remove those insoluble impurities. In this case, what we have is a nice clear solution and I'm now ready to add some of the so solvent that I know is going to be required to form um, the, the right mixture that's going to allow the crystals to come out at room temperature or cold in an ice bath. All right, so now I want to add some water. And it's a trial and error process. Sometimes what can be seen is as you add drops of the product that it's not soluble in, you can see some cloudiness that dissipates. Which I can see as I'm adding water to the ethanol solution. Can you see that? You can see a little bit of cloudiness and then it's dissipating. You don't want to add too much of the insoluble solvent so it turns cloudy completely. You just want to add enough. I know I'm close to the point here that it dissipates within a few seconds. Now that I have a nice clear solution, I want to set it on the bench top to cool. Once you've allowed your crystal solution to come to room temperature and crystals are forming, um, then you can place them in an ice bath to continue the recrystallization and get all, all the material out of solution. If at this point no crystals had formed, we could place it in the ice bath and you could use your glass stir rod to scratch the surface of the bottom of the flask to aid nucleation and crystallization. Another tip would be that if you are doing a second batch of recrystallization, you could seed it with just a few crystals of pure material 
to help um, crystallization start to form. If after all this you still have no crystals, then it may be necessary to take your whole solution and concentrate off some of the solvent because um, it means that you probably have too much solvent and the crystals are not um, able to come out of solution.